Okay, boom. Hopping right back into it. Welcome back to Bobville. Today we're adding on to our environmental traps with adding a buzzsaw into our game. Be sure to name it, then drag it on into the scene view. Easy to best fit then you should do what I didn't do here, which is change the order in layer like we did with the spikes. No matter, next we're gonna add a 2D circle collider. It works basically the same as the box collider, so we'll just resize it the same as before. This time around our object is gonna be doing something other than just sitting there so go over to the animations tab and let's make our saw, spin. I'll call it, saw, move. We'll do this just like we did the walking animation, with the three frame technique. But this time, we'll just be using the rotate tool. Boom now that that's done we must create a C-sharp script, let's take a look. Starting off with our variables, we have two transforms that will represent the two different points our buzzsaw will move between, then our waypoint target transform will be the buzzsaw's current position. Last we have the speed in which it will travel. On start we'll set the saw to move towards our first point. Next in our update method we have a vector 2 that calculates the position the saw is in and tell it to move at our speed times the delta time. In our last thing in the update method are our two if statements. Basically saying if the saw touches one of our points, then turn around and go to the other. Last we have our on collision enter 2D method which is just the same as a spikes. If the player collides with the saw, he takes big time damage. Save and return to Unity. Now let's jump back to Unity. The first thing I want to do is change the order in layer so the saw sits behind the ground. Next I'll find our ground the saw is sitting on and here we'll add our transition points. We'll make our points, children of our ground. In the inspector click the little square box at the top so we can add a visual label to our transforms. Nice. Make sure our points are not quite at the end of the ground platform. Then click the saw object and drag in our script. Drag the points into their position in the script then set the speed to whatever you'd like. And boom. Press play and let's see what happens. Nice it's working fine. But I got to admit it's moving mad slow. Not to worry, while the scene is playing we can go back to the saw script in our inspector and change the speed. Nice this is much better. And there you have it. A fully functional buzz saw ready to be your player's worst nightmare. Stay tuned for more, we'll be diving a little further into this the next time around. Like and subscribe if you've enjoyed us this far. Until next time, thanks for watching. Peace. For duck to buy lipstick, she simply puts it on her bill.